Hello and welcome to Herman's RV Holidays. I'm Ads. And as you can see, as you can see, Zoe is not with me today. Uh, she is not feeling very well. <clears throat> she may join us later, but um, she probably won't. Just put that out there. Uh, so if you're watching, Zoe, oh, I'm all up. Anyway, um, it is now November. It's Saturday the 3rd, 4th? No idea. Third. <laughs> and of course, that is uh, the first Saturday of the month, and that is when we do our live streams. So um, thank you very much for coming along and uh, watching us, or well, watching me. Now, um, of course, last month was October, and I've got these headphones on for some reason. Let me take them off. <clears throat> and um, as some of you may know, I was doing the Sober for October uh, thing where you know basically you're sober for the whole of October you're not drinking any alcohol uh, not that I'm a heavy drinker um, we have our wine night on Fridays and I may have a beer or a few ad sized whiskies during the week but um, not I don't you know what the worst thing about uh, drinking is the mouth not big? No, the uh, the day after I don't like a hangover. I think it's just a bit of a waste of time. So, I think it's been fairly easy for me to go through go through a month without without drinking. Um, I'm sure other people uh, have other um, um, issues with uh, the problems with drink. No, that sounds like. <laughs> to get myself a hole. What I'm trying to say is I, th I think I found it fairly s easy. Uh, I did kind of miss it. I w wouldn't um, I wouldn't say I didn't miss it. I mean, I was dreaming about it sometimes. And uh, I felt a bit jealous when Zay was, you know, drinking some uh, wine and she wasn't sharing any. But, uh, yeah, but that was me. Um, over the month of October, I don't think I. I don't think it really changed me at all. But uh, anyway, I'm back on the alcohol. I had some last night, and I may have some tonight, in fact. But uh, nothing too strenuous. I'm not going to go through. Um, can't remember November. But um, anyway, how is everybody? And uh, let's just check out the chat. Um, we got a hi from Druid and Bob. Hi, Bob. Hi, Druid. And the Beckwiths. Hi, guys. And uh, Chaz. Hi, Chaz. And uh, have you been drinking? Not today. Uh, well, today I've got a, a pint of snake bite and black. No, it's just water. <laughs> So, the other thing we did last last month, and um, I think a few of you did as well, was uh, go to the NEC Mo Caravan and Motorhome show. Uh, who went? I know Bob did. Hi, Shep. How you doing? <clears throat> uh, so, yeah, I know Bob did, because I met him there. In fact, Bob goes to most of them, don't you, Bob? Of course, I don't drink it. <laughs> <laughs> well, we yeah we we know. <laughs> I've seen you drinking, Bob. I know, I know, I've seen you. Um, so how did you go to NEC? If you did, let us know what you thought. Um, I find it a, a long walk, really. <laughs> it's so huge to get from one end to the other to go around all the uh, halls. It's uh, it's quite what was it eight to eight to eighteen was it or something like that? Eight to twenty halls. That was the halls they had open. I almost joined the other... Um, uh, there's a few other halls open there. Star Trek. I don't know if anyone saw those. <laughs> now, I do like my Star Trek, but I don't think I'll be dressing up in uh, Star Trek costumes. That they, they looked... Yeah, they didn't look right. And I don't mean they were dressing like monsters they were mo or anything like that. They were dressing like... Starfleet characters, uh, humans in the red and black uniforms, <laughs> just didn't look right. One guy, 
One kid. I don't know if you know your Romulans and the uh, your difference between a Romulan and a Klingon, but he had uh, the Romulans have a bit of a bowl head haircut. Wait, a bit of a fringe like that. Straight across there. Straight down here. Black hair. And he, I'm sure it wasn't a wig. And I thought, wow, did you go to school looking like that? <laughs> oh, look, Zoe's arrived. No, this is you go. Uh, it, yeah, it was like, wow. Everyone, you know, they dress like it in real time, uh, in their real lives, having haircuts like they're, like they're heroes. Anyway, so did anyone go along? We saw the Trekkies. They had, um, we went past the thing and I thought, oh, was, can we just have a look? Because then he had one haul, or was it two? I thought, yeah, we just a quick skirt round, have a look. But, uh, yeah, that was, that was quite interesting. So, it's interesting to me because I think it was something that I would have probably done 20, 30 years ago. Oh, good, blimey. Someone was over my, my shoulder. And, um, yeah, I, I just find the NEC, uh, I do enjoy going. And looking at the new stuff, <clears throat> wandering in and out of the motorhomes, is there any real time you get to do that? Isn't it? I mean, you might see one of these new motorhomes in the site next door to yours at a campsite or something. But uh, you you never want to, you know, always feel a bit embarrassed to go over. And go, oh, is this the new blah blah blah? I uh, I've always wanted to see inside of that. Oh, I can't get out of the way of our trick shot there. Um. And so, yeah, it gives you an opportunity to take a look inside and uh, imagine yourself having that type of money to afford leather seats and all that kind of thing. Uh, so it's quite interesting, and um, it's you, you do. I do seem. I, I do find that the, the, a lot of them are very similar in uh, in design. You know, the, the bathroom is split across the. Uh, the main corridor normally now and uh, you know the bed above the thing and the dining area at the front and they're all very similar and of course I oh hello <laughs> I've not seen that at all Mark Kelly's just subscribed excellent thank you very much for subscribing we were actually uh, just the other day r reached 1900 now we know over, over 1900 which is great news I could just hear that on my headphones. <laughs> that was awesome. That's never happened before. A subscriber during the stream. Excellent. Well, thanks, Mark. That's brilliant. Um, well, of course, you might not be watching. There's no comment. If you're watching, just give, a, give us a hi. It was <laughs> Yeah, Bob, it was a bit weird. It's just something I've set up so that any, anybody subscribes, it comes up on the, uh, on the screen. But... Uh, uh, Bob McKay had to wait for some Starfleet officers at the Zebra Cross. <laughs> Klingons don't wipe. Oh no, Johnny, you had to. Well, someone had to. But yeah, wandering around the. Uh, well, I was talking about the design of things. I think nowadays, though, because there's practically like five motorhome companies, isn't there? There's. The one I can't remember the name of it, the one that is now own now owns Hymer, they own a whole multitude of motorhome companies as well. So their design team are probably going to be you're going to see a lot of designs spread across all the motorhomes. I think with very similar designs. I think and uh, you know the ones we went in that were expensive ones. I and then we kind of ended up going into uh, the the cheaper ones. Simply because we just fancied having a look in the, uh, the expensive ones, I suppose. So, did anybody, uh, anybody else go? And if you've seen the videos that I put out, uh, did uh, do you have a favourite motorhome in in, um, in the, one of the video, any of the videos that I, I showed? Mm. That is a good cider. So other news. Um, I don't know if you guys know, but we've been we've had a an awning tent for well ever since we've had Herman. Really, it came it came with it. We used it a couple of times. Bought a um, a drive away for it at the NEC many years ago, <clears throat> but we never used it. And the reason why we never used it is because. 
you know, t time to pitch up. And by the time, you know, we would just drive out and 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 never, yeah, just never thought that we'd need we needed it. They needed to pitch it up, and it's quite large. It's just taken up a lot of room in the back. Uh, so we um, sold it. I finally sold it on eBay. Uh, so that wasn't too bad. Guy came and picked it up. Sweet it was. It was um, and the we had a big uh, mat of, um, what do they call it, grass protection or something. That came with it as well. Uh, quite a large piece. It was like twice the size of the, of the tent. And uh, that went as well. At the same time, we sort of put it all together in one like package, as it were. So that is um, quite pleased with that. Uh, Dawn Green, did you go? Did not go, but appreciate all the vlogs showing us around the NEC. You don't need to do the work, the walking. That's the <laughs> we did the walking for you. Uh, we we went mainly to look at the bits and bobs. Yeah, we ended up doing that at the end. Uh, we went for two days. The second, beginning of the second day, we 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 uh, went and picked up a what do you call it? An outlet hose. Now, Heimer sell these thirty-five quid. So this thing is a hose. Looks in fact, it looks like the hose of a, uh, a vacuum cleaner. Anyway, it goes onto the out uh, the waste pipe, and of course, you got it basically extends it. Thirty-five pounds from Heimer. But we went to, I think they're called CAC Tanks. And they, I wouldn't say it's a copy, but it's their own version of it. It's slightly smaller, but um, fits fine. I just need to do a little bit of uh, roughing down the edges, I suppose. And uh, that was £17. So I thought that was a bit of a bargain. <clears throat> and what was the other thing I was going to say? No, I've now forgotten. So we sold a tent. Uh... Oh, anyway, it's gone now. I'm sure it'll come back to me in a moment. Um, so that's basically us. We also we we just in the just well, she might be doing it now, booking a, a pitch at for Christmas at uh, the Tudor Arms Caravan Caravan Park in Gloucestershire. So. Uh, if you are thinking of spending some time in your motorhome and you're around that area, or your caravan, come over and uh, say hi. I think we did it last year, if you remember, and there was a Heimer, a couple of doors, as it were, down from us. And apparently they they knew us, so I'd, uh, if we see them again, we'll have to say hi. Beckwiths, could you say hello to Bob Earnshaw, please? Hello, Bob. <laughs> I think I've already said hello, Bob. Give us a shout out. I'm filming an ending for today's video and I'll include it in the film. Oh, I see. Hi, Bob. There's Ads here. How you doing? Unfortunately, Zoe's not with me at the moment. She's she's in another room resting. Um, but uh, hopefully, uh, you're <laughs> hopefully. You're doing a really good time, having a really good time, and uh, doing some recording with your video. So where are you, Bob? Where are you at home making the making the ending of a film? It seems a bit weird that I'm in your film, filming you filming me, me saying that sounds strange. <clears throat> so what's everybody been up to then? Tell me about your month. Been away. Have you been in the NEC? I think I've asked that five times. <laughs> have you been away? Have you uh, have you bought a motorhome, Chaz, or uh, receiving one anytime soon? So, no, I've got to remember this. The two Westies, Scottish way of saying it, the Toi. I can't do it. Sorry. Uh, hi, Ads. I went to three days and my dodgy knees are now completely done in. But uh, I did order... Oh, so you actually bought a van there. I don't know anybody until now who actually buys a motorhome. And you see them, you know, you think, oh, there's the such and such a motorhome. And you go there and it actually says sold on it. They've all locked it all up so nobody can have a look inside. I thought, oh, who's... Who are these people buying these motorhomes just to... I guess that it's probably the best time to go because you can see them all together and they... Can they compete with each other?
Is that meat thop? Meat thop? Or meat hop? Man, it's got to be meat thop. He fell. And where is that? I have no idea where that is. Is that, a, is that a campsite? Is it a town? Is it in... What county is that in? Is it nice? Should we be going ourselves? Us, uh, Ch Chipney. I saw you at the NEC, but didn't want to bother you. Oh, you should have come over. In fact, we had... Um, we had uh, five groups of people, five groups of people, five families, let's say five families, five couples, five couples, well, four couples and a family, there you go, that's, <laughs> come over and say hi, amazing, it was uh, very nice to meet um, uh, subscribers or viewers, uh, kind of weird as well, and I think it's... For them, it's weird too because they see somebody they normally see on their on their iPad or their television or whatever, and I can pr completely appreciate that because I've been that person meeting somebody that I I would watch on YouTube. Oh, it's, that's that's just a, and uh, it was a video gamer, and I was like, <laughs> it's like, oh, I wasn't expecting to see you here. Not the NEC, which is another another event, and uh, uh, you know, bit bit. A bit starstruck. It was just like me, though. It's just a lot, a lot more thousands of thousands of uh, subscribers. German guy plays uh, a game I used to play, um, but so I underst completely understand how it feels being the other side of the screen, as it were. Um, but meeting uh, folks, best thing ever, I think. Really does, really does um, put a smile on your face. You know, it makes you. Uh, Appreciated. <clears throat> Picking it up on the tenth. Now, Chaz, last time we chatted, you said it was the fifth, and I remember it was the fifth because of bon or the fourth because it was near bonfire night. And they moved it, and they got the shower and the gas socket the right way round now. I also need to set your la laptop up as well. Anyway. So yes, Christmas. That's what we'll be doing. We've got quite a lot of time over Christmas. I think basically we're going to be leaving Christmas Eve, which is a Monday. We've got a few days. We'll be spending that at the WWT in Slimbridge. What we did last year. And then we've got a good few days before we got to go back to work. I, mean, I don't think we'll stay there, but we may stay there for the whole week. But that gives us, you know, opportunity to to venture out there. The only thing about that time of year is, of course, nothing's open, and which is a good thing about uh, the WWT because they're not open Christmas or Boxing Day. Oh, sorry, Christmas Day. I think they're open Boxing Day. <coughs> um, and if we get there, I was going to say, if we get there early enough, we can probably creep in a couple of hours in the evening. But I don't think we'll be able to do that. Um, yeah, we've got we've got a membership to the WWT, so we can go in and out whenever we want. Otherwise, it costs about it would cost us about thirty odd quid to get in. I think I think it is. Don't normally take a note of the prices, but yeah, that's all like bird like uh, bird yeah, bird watching, wildlife, all that kind of thing. So we we we'll have all that. It's really good. Yeah, it's good fun, isn't it, uh, Bob? It's, uh, it says he's love, love to meet people who watch us. It's really good fun. It's, it's, it's uh, from our point of view, it's weird not meeting them, but, but, but they were, for instance, we had some sort of conversation with somebody who was saying, oh yeah, when you went to Brittany, we, we did what you did, and that was the such and such. And I'm thinking, did we? <laughs> I can't remember. And then you know it was like oh yeah you went to uh, you went to that t or I'd say oh where was that we went to where we saw this and, you, and somebody would say or one of them would say oh that was when you went to do 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 and think was it <laughs> I don't remember that <laughs> either they've just watched the video or uh, I've got a bad memory probably both but uh, uh, yeah anyway so that is um, basically us I almost remember that thing I was going to say. Ah, can you see that? Here's a clue. That's a clue to what um, I got a video coming out, right? 
where if you know what hands up if you know that what that is let us know in the comment if you know what that is i think this gives it away <laughs> that's what i was going to mention i think memory is terrible Just waiting for your comments if you know what that is. Because you know, you know, I wouldn't say I'm famous for it, but I do wear it a lot. Uh, it's a bit worn. Was a bit worn. It doesn't exist anymore. I've got a replacement and I've got a video, <laughs> video coming out. So I, I saw, thanks, Bob. I saw. Uh, at the NEC, a, a shop selling these or store selling these. I bought mine 15, 20 years ago. I'm probably going to repeat my video now. About it was about 30 quid. This store was like whoa, 75 pounds, and that is a lot of money. But uh, I didn't pay that for uh, this hat. So um, this new one. It's actually uh, guaranteed for life, so if you lose it or you uh, get it gets damaged through wear and tear, give you a new one. So this is what I did. Now you don't have to watch the video I'm going to be releasing soon. Uh, we bought a van yesterday, and no, we haven't won the lottery. It's not a new one. Was uh, was it like um, a sprinter van, or is that the right word for it? Is it like a conversion, I suppose? I suppose all motorhomes are conversions. Either they begin with the chassis or they, they're they just the whole van and you put cut, cut holes in it <laughs> for windows and vents and things, right? Ah, crack of on video. How are you doing? If you want to get a head, a head get a hat. <laughs> uh, <laughs> You do make me laugh. I remember the last last live stream. I, you made me laugh about drinking alcohol, but uh, <laughs> so anyway, um, uh, what other news have I got to tell you? See if, if I had Zoe, she'd be able to fill in all these gaps, but unfortunately, she's not very well. <clears throat> What are you guys doing for holiday for Christmas? And have you are you going away for November? We find November. Well, I figured that November is a bit of a, a no no camping time. We just don't seem to book anything for November. Not that there's anything wrong with it. I guess up until September October it's still quite warm out to a degree, and then you got Christmas and. And then you know we just we go away Christmas, and yeah November. What about you guys? You go out? Is, are you guys all weather campers? Because I th like to think that we are, except on November. Uh, no ads. It's a uh, you can Naus. Is that how you pronounce it? Naus Sun Sun T. We didn't look in Naus. We did see them. We walked past them. That's the one with the two doves, isn't it? Or something. Uh, so is that a motorhome then, or is that a, or is that one of the camper vans? I suppose we should call them. My work commitments van. All. My work commitments van. All good now. Apparently back. Off to work now. Talk later. Oh, I see. All right, gotcha. Uh, where and watch out for the reason. Where and watch out for the reasonable use. He's talking about hats. I'm sure. Working. I'm getting a bit confused of your guy, yours, your comments, guys. I miss Jenny. I miss Jenny when she didn't go around the end. Yeah. She was seen it all before, I suppose. Is she? Or do, oh, looking after the dogs. That's what she was doing, right? 
<clears throat> and going to Moffat's for the new year in the Scottish borders. Oh, you lucky devil, just to be able to get away. And we'd love to be able to do that. Um, but unfortunately, we, uh, we're not able to at the moment. Maybe we should just quit work. But what's going to pay for the petrol, though? Diesel. Oh, yeah, Zoe used one of those. Um, well, our local petrol station it had been closed for three weeks while they fitted those new pay at, well not new are they they've like been out for 20 years you pay at pump and um we used it a few times and uh she used <laughs> she went to use it the other day i was with her she put a card in and it started flashing right near the, where you put the where you put the card in it started flashing a little symbol of locked and uh yeah basically ate a car for no reason it, it, they turned they called us up and said oh they it, it does that when it's get when it gets tampered with when the car it thinks the car's being tampered with it's like what just put it in <laughs> and of course we filled the pet the car up we couldn't pay for it <laughs> <clears throat> so how long was uh we have been streaming for only half an hour it feels like a lot longer than that don't you think and we've got now uh, 906 subscribers. My target, hopefully, uh, f before the new year starts, is 2,000. And we were eight, we were hovering around the 1,800 for quite a while until those NEC videos came out. And I think that's the key to growing a, a YouTube channel is lots of videos, uh, be especially NEC videos. <laughs> Because, um, yeah, it's strange, right? I, I thought it, it, to release, you might already know, to release a video every Saturday on time, at a certain time on time, and so people get, get used to it. But um, I guess what happens is a person may have a certain time to watch YouTube videos, just like watching television. And if there's lots of things they want to see, the and of course small amount of time, say half an hour here, half an hour there, uh, they'll only watch what they um, what they previously seen. So if you have been recently watching a lot of a particular show on it could be on Netflix or whatever, you're going to watch the next one when it comes out. But if there's just one you've seen, um, you're not going to keep going back to it. You probably put that at the bottom of your watch list as it were that's how i think it works because that's how i work myself it's, oh i'll watch him later or you know I, i'm subscribed to quite a lot of people not just camping people but you know people play video games there's uh there's uh, somebody who goes around a para paramotor um casey naystat he's one of these big guys doing be uh he does uh vlogs used to be daily but uh, you know, just uh, the pecking order where you put your video, where, who, what you watch. Okay, I've got, I've got half an hour now before, before I go to work. I'm gonna watch this one because I keep watching this one. <clears throat> That's how I think it works. Get into the psyche of people, viewers, <laughs> by using myself as an example. Maybe not a good idea. The Beckwiths. Uh, we were in the same boat. Sharon, wife, can't have holidays at Christmas. Oh, okay, yes. Yeah. Um, used to have that when I was working at Waitrose. My sister used to get that when she was working in retail. And my father, being a butcher, you know, high demand. So all these, I think but generally it's food and retail, right? Or retail in general, you can't can't have Christmas off I think it's a bit unfair though I mean why Christmas Christmassy uh, sorry not Christmassy Christmas and Boxing Day people everybody should have a, a time off Sunday do we do you remember the time when Sundays was a day where shops were shut and all of a sudden I can't remember who it was it Tesco or Sainsbury's said we're gonna we're gonna open on Sundays just for a test and <clears throat> that was it no turning back Wear and tear warranty is 
full of easy outs for them, like over usage. Uh, I think yeah, but referring to Tilly, if it say it on here, no. That yeah, I know what you're saying, but in this case, it doesn't seem to be like that. It was a lot of wear. There was a lot of wear and tear. It's guaranteed for life, so that means to me. And they seem to have, uh, you know, I just had to pay the postage, which is good. NEC videos have been really helpful in growing our numbers. You you see, you go to all of them, don't you? Is it like two a year? Is that right? Is one in February? So that's for um, October, November, December, January, February. So it's only five months. <clears throat> I wonder what it is. I mean. I don't think I'd watch a watch a video of someone walking around a motorhome. Is it because is it are they are these people buyers? Do you think? No, not all of them. Not everybody could be buying. It. Should be, not everybody will be buying a, a motorhome. Maybe they're just interested in seeing uh, the reason why you go to a motorhome show. You're just interested in seeing what's inside a motorhome, possibly. Unfortunately, Sharon is a care worker, so they need. Oh, okay. F yes, every day, basically, right? And people, you know, their lives. They can't have. Um, they. That's not on a holiday, is it? People's own individual lives. Uh, I have only been watching YouTube for six months or so, and it would be useful if bloggers would do more shoutouts to steer newbies to like-minded sites. What do you mean by that? Do you mean like, say, I would turn around and say, you should check out Bob Earnshaw's channel. He does a brilliant job of showing you how to get to motorhome. Uh, sorry, how to get to sites. Uh, so if you feel that your motorhome might be a bit too big, you can just watch one of his videos. And if he's been there, of course, and you can see uh, the the entrance of a particular motorhome, uh, <laughs> of a particular site. Do you think you mean something like that? The, th the thing is, though, two Westies, it's competition. YouTube is um, a massive competition. Like the competition everybody has, like bef you know, the 10 minutes before they go to work. There's that element. I only just kind of realise this. But there's also competition within in YouTube as well. So you want people to watch your video. So uh, like, subscribe it. Uh, sorry, like and comment on it, I should say. So more interest gets on that video. And so therefore, when somebody types in um, NEC Motorhome uh, Heimer 564, whatever, uh, there's a, you get a search list. The most commented one or liked one among the most views gets pushed to the top. And the reason for that is, well, the most common one, most the one that which gets the most views gets pushed to the top because first of all it's bound to be the best one but it's doesn't seem to work like that uh, but also if all these people have been interacting with the video um, and it's had all these views then YouTube are going to put their adverts on it and that's where they make the money so we need to we need to push the video up so when uh, so whenever you make a comment or a like or or dislike a video you're helping that video crawl up the the search list that's how it works uh just exactly that great okay oh I missed something no i haven't there is a show in manchester in january glasgow and nec shows in february then a national mo oh i see so you you oh, yes uk okay. i was only referring to the nec but um you're referring to you you you've, you go to all of these shows. Does it not get a bit? I mean, I know you're helping out. Uh, is it Valerie? Helping out your friend. But does it got? Do you do you notice the same old thing happening? You know, oh that motorhome is here again. <laughs> do you see that? Of course, last time we went was years ago, and everything's changed. <laughs> I just looked at the screen with the camera. I thought, wow, there's all that alcohol behind me. I just grabbed. 
That was a bit weird. <laughs> Right. Um, so maybe you guys can help me with this. <clears throat> so at Christmas time, uh, we don't like staying in the same place at, uh, for too long. I think the, the maximum time we spent at one place was four days. And that was years ago. Therefore, at Christmas, when we pitched up in at the uh, WWT in Slimbridge, Gloucestershire. What else can we go to around that area? I mean, we can use the campsite as a base. It's very simple to get to and then go out. But And I know that um, Sidman's Yacht is around the corner. Well, not just around the corner. It's also in Gloucestershire. And we can pop into, pop in, pop over to uh, Wales. But where? What? Any any ideas? Any suggestions around that area? I know a lot of. I think a lot of my viewers are actually up up to north, and they might not know the area. Um, down south, as it were. Or oh, it's more southwest, isn't it? We hey, we can't talk. We help out our friends Bob and Aileen. Um, a pet supply business when we are there at shows by dog sitting and we and then Chaz says we get really I thought you was at work Chaz I thought you had to disappear for work oh, I misunderstood your last message welcome back <laughs> uh, we get really busy around Christmas gas electricity failure due to high demand boilers ovens ah ok yeah that makes sense yeah, you need very mild though at the moment. I suppose it's still autumn, but it's quite um, went out without a coat on earlier. But there, yeah, <clears throat> so yeah, we're just looking for a place to go uh, around Christmas time around the Gloucestershire area. And uh, if any ideas, just let us drop us a little comment. Oh, here we go. Gloucester Keys are really good. Uh, Caravanning with the Coxes. Hi there, how you doing? Keys are really... Okay. Write that down. If Zoe's watching, she can watch. Uh, she can write it down. That's a scroll, actually, rather than... Well, I suppose I've written down. Right, well... What else can we talk about? Um, <clears throat> I did prepare, but uh, I, I basically said all my piece. Oh, now, what was that? That was um, oh, I've got to tell you this, <laughs> Bob. I think you already know. I think we already told you this. So there was uh, so we know we. We know um, some people from the camping and caravanning club, and uh, in fact, the uh, the what are they call wildlife um, worldwide. I think called Horizons, isn't it? Horizons Worldwide Camping or something. <clears throat> they're the guys that do the tour. They're part of the camping and caravan club, and they're part of the tour. So we thought we and we we know a couple of people from there because we've gone on some of the tours. You know, the tour guides. So we go over there, and we're interested in. I don't know if you saw it, or actually this year. This year, the Captain and Caravan Club hooked up with Just Go to um, pick up some motorhomes from Germany and bring them back to Luton, where Just Go are. And we missed that opportunity because we thought, oh, Germany, that sounds good. To fly in there, and you, you rent this motorhome for a huge discount, and they and you drive it back. We've done it before, but from Italy before, and it's great, great fun because it's one way. Anyway, so we missed the opportunity this year, and we thought we'd go and ask them about it this year. Uh, sorry, next year. And uh, so they they got their, you know, it's all spread out. They got the stage there where they're telling you, and the projector system where they're telling you about South Africa and Australia and Canada and this kind of thing. 
<clears throat> so that's the Horizons world, uh, worldwide uh, uh, guided thing. The next door is the Camp and Caravan, or part of the Camp and Caravan tours. And uh, they've got this um, big television, and we're talking to this guy about the Ger about Germany and whatever. And behind him, I'm looking at the screen thinking, I recognise that. <laughs> I recognise that shot. That's my video. <laughs> it was one of our. It was the video from um, the WWT. Sorry, World War One, France and Belgium, which we did t uh, 2014, and uh, <laughs> we could see. Uh, yeah, I mean, we popped up. They were where we were talking. The sound wasn't on, but you could see us talking. It was Thritval in the background, and uh, you know, it's that huge monument, beautiful, and uh, it's like so funny and. And then it was all over, and I thought, "Oh, that's a shame. We didn't take a photograph or anything. You know, us in the foreground, like a like a like a like a selfie, a selfie of a selfie." But um, yeah, that was that was quite funny, weird, weird looking at yourself on the television, like when it's not your television, as it were. Um, right, who we got here? Posh cats camping. Hi, ads. Hold a minute. We'll back up. I've missed a few more. Uh, Bob. Oh, Bobby, you keep bringing them. It's more of them. National Arbitorium. Arbitorium? Was good at. Oh, is that near the area? Is that where. Is that in Gloucestershire as well? We'll check that out. Uh, you wouldn't go out without a coat with us. It's chucking it down. Yeah, it's. Uh, had a very lovely blue sky day today. Down in the south. Hi, Eds. I'm listening. I'm listening in the background. Uh, we're at home jobbing. What's jobbing mean? You mean you're working at home? Is that what that means? I work at home all the time. In fact, this room I'm in now is my office, as it were. Office. It's not an office. It's just a, it's just a tiny little room. I'm touching the walls. <laughs> and and this wall here is just there. And... And this, you can see the wall here. This is the wall. It's my green screen. Oh, that's interesting. Move my green screen away. I never, you know what? I bought this green screen. I didn't need to. Because the background, the wall paint, uh, the paintwork's green. The walls are already, anyway, nuts. <coughs> so, yeah, but so what does uh, Poshka, what does jobbing mean? Do you mean you're working from home? I find, you know, it's great missing the traffic on ever working from home, but this is where I this is where I uh, I will do my work, play my video games, talk to you guys, and it gets um, sitting in the same room, five foot by five foot, can get a bit uh, not claustrophobic, un unsociable. That seems I'm not being sociable. Lonely, probably a better close words way of uh, explaining that. Catch up with you. Uh, catching up with all the can you just jobs? Oh, I see. And I'm in the background. Ah, so you got me on your iPad or iPod. You got me headphones or something, and you just stick it in the pocket with YouTube playing. <laughs> or oh, I'm on the television, and you just. You you come I'm coming out of your stereo and you're watching the news or something, <laughs> or if you you know if you're like a kid you could just be like doing three or four things at once you could be playing a game, the television's on watching some cartoon or whatever, uh, and you got your iPad here watching us, and then you got another iPad watching some gamer. I'm reading the book at the same time, I'm texting. Amazing, amazing. How they do that I do not know. <clears throat> you work you work from home too okay and how did you find it it, it gets um i guess there's nobody watching me i don't have to like you know if i decide to you know buy something on amazon right there's nobody behind me i don't have to look at me look out for me boss but of course you know you can't spend all day doing it psycho johnny johnny psycho rather uh, since I had my pacemaker fitted, I seem to be running hot. 
I'm going to continue. <laughs> so I wear shorts and a jumper. My... My whippet has to wear a coat. My neighbours think I'm mad eating lollies. <laughs> I'm just thinking of a car. I'm just thinking of a car. Get a new engine in there. And he's running a bit lean. That's what, that's what I'm thinking. That's what's going through my head. Running a bit lean. It's got a bit warm. The aircon won't switch off. Or the aircon won't come on, rather. The heat is, the heat is jammed on. That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> Just because you say you're running hot. That's funny. Or oh, my head's funny or crazy. Um. Anyway, I I'm uh, I'm kind of running out. Of th I don't know if you noticed, but I'm running out of things to say, especially because Zoe's not with me. Um. She kind of you know. Did you want to do you want me to see if I can um, drag her down? So. You all right? Did you want to say hello? Okay. No, she's just resting. <clears throat> uh, home uh, whippet is a dog. Do you know? I don't get that though. I mean, okay, so you th you think it's your your uh, your pacemaker, but where were we? We were in the shop, I think, and it was caning it down outside with the rain. And uh, we got our raincoats on, carrying our brollies, buying something. Oh, yeah, it was a home base, I think. And this guy standing beside us, t-shirt, shorts, uh, flip-flops. <laughs> and it was raining. And I said, uh, you do know it's raining outside, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> why? Why do, you, why do people walk around when it's raining and they just got their hoodie on? I don't get that. It's like, you're getting wet. And when you get to your destination, you're gonna be wet. I don't get it. Just put your coat on. I think it's a. F I think it's um. I think it's a um like a fashion thing to not wear a coat, isn't it? Do you think? Just me, maybe, maybe. Working. Uh, working from home is a bit solitary. That's the word. Yeah, that's a good word. But the coffee is good. I also work from motorhome. That's even better. Ah, oh, what am I doing that? I could do that. Since I work from home, nobody knows where I am other than home. But I just need internet. That's all I need. Internet and electricity. So and and I'll be um and I'll be sorted. I could do that. But of course, what do we do without Zoe? You know, she like she'd want to come with us. We we'll have to bring her along. Um, coffee at my work, my office, my real office in Henley. It's just atrocious. People still drink it. I just don't like it. Make one. You know, you press you, you press these buttons. And I don't mean it's a machine. We get your plastic cups. You put a mug on it, and it, you can see the, the coffee granules being ground or whatever. It's just awful. Horrible. Anyway, yeah, so I'm with you there. My coffee's better than the what stuff in the office. Uh, Mr. Start of the Show. No, you haven't. You can... Uh, you, it's uh, going to be uh, saved. You can... Um, well, not so much press the red button. That's the button I've got to stop it recording. You can go back and uh, watch it all over again. So you can say hi. Hi, Lopsy. How are you doing? <coughs> and uh, you can rewind. I think you can rewind. I think you can just drag the thing all the way down to the beginning, can't you? And especially you can pause it. I know you can pause it. Pause a, a live broadcast. Hope she feels better soon. Yeah, it was, it's been on and off during the week. It's got um feeling a bit giddy. <clears throat> uh, get well soon, Zoe. I'll, I'll, well, if she's not watching, she'll be watching this later and she'll see all that. Uh, flip flops mental. Yeah, tell me about it. Uh, thanks, Posh Cats. I'll ha pass that on as well. Andrew Richards. Hi, missing beginning. Hope Zoe gets better soon. Uh, hope uh, Zoe didn't give up on the booze with you. No, she didn't. She. Um, she. <laughs> In fact, uh, well, she, actually, the first weekend she shared a bottle amongst amongst herself. So there's a bottle of wine on the Friday. So Friday night and Saturday night was wine night for her. 
think the, follow, the following week she thought she couldn't do that again so she decided to have a, a cider and then the following two weeks she didn't have anything I think I think that was the uh, the history of all that uh, had to have one more cup of tea on a call until 10 p.m. cold weather everyone turns the heating on full instead of on gradually do they wow yeah I've got stuff well you know what we got we got that economy seven nonsense some rubbish technology from the 70s you put it on oh it's lovely during the day day like this though you open the windows because it's so flipping hot because the sun's beating down warming the house up and it's hot inside of course all that heat goes and by the time of the evening when you're sitting down watching television eating your dinner whatever all the energy out of the heaters is gone so it gets cold junk you need to get rid of them but anyway that's um that's gonna be wow look at that 32 viewers wow on here it says 32. On YouTube tells me 32, but the script, the stream here, up there, it says 30. Maybe it's dated. <laughs> um. <laughs> oh, never mind. <laughs> Does anyone have suggestions for Christmas? Yeah, we were talking about that. Um, we're going to. Uh, uh, I've forgotten now. Wetlands and Wildlife Trust, WWT, in Slimbridge, in Gloucestershire. That's what we're doing. We did it last year. Um, really because we can go for a walk and wander around the thing. And it's quite empty. Unlike oh, uh, unlike the, the summer not, months, it'd be quite busy. And you get to see all the migrant birds come in. and uh, Such as the Buick Swans tend not to see Buick swans throughout the rest of the year rest of the year in Britain but the Buick swans come in from a couple of places including uh, the Arctic tundra been there so many times and know all the words that they say use so uh, yeah that's what we're doing they're getting fewer and fewer apparently though um, they're blaming climate change they're not coming back they're staying out there because the food is there but uh, there's other birds, you see birds of prey, um, peregrines, that kind of thing. It's good. Oh my goodness, that's weird, weird isn't it? Uh, <clears throat> when you're uploading more island videos, we were there four years ago, did some causeway coastal route, but started in Belfast. We more or less started in Belfast. Well, we started in Dublin, but we went through Belfast. So I, I, well, our tour really started in Belfast. The tour that we were following on the on the off the website was is in started in Belfast. Uh, well, um, I've got which one have I just edited? I just finished one today. Number six. Yeah, we got. I got two. I think I got two left. Uh, two videos complete, and I'm gonna start working on. I think I'm either at the. I think either the 7 or the 8th is going to be the final one. I, I haven't seen the footage yet, depending on how much video I've got. But um, they they are released every Saturday at the same time as, you know, 4 o'clock. And it's just that uh, live stream um, at the beginning of the month kind of takes over that. <clears throat> so you get videos from uh, holidays uh, four, uh, three times out of the four. As it were, oh goodness! It's <laughs> gonna. Oh, it's gone. But uh, it was showing the the it was showing the um things uh, the pictures from our holiday. It went so fast though. I think I think Heimerfest. We went to the Heimerfest before, and then we caught the ferry over. Uh, that kind of took a, a big chunk of two weeks. Well, big chunk. I guess it did. We could have started off a Saturday, so yeah, we we had a Heimer Fest beforehand, and uh, of course that. Um, uh, so we only really had what ten days out there, ten days in in Ireland, twelve days maybe. Seems a bit gone, and it seems so long ago now. <coughs> <coughs> uh, 
Uh, when you are, man. Hi, Andrew. Love your chat. Well, Andrew Richards has got a channel. I'll have to find out about that. Oh, I can't click it. I'll find out about that. Okay. Who else has got channels? And oh, you obviously all have um, membership. Membership. Google account, probably the, uh, a YouTube account, but who makes videos? Stick your hand, stick your hand up. Advertise now. Let's um, see who makes a video on YouTube and um, just put a little description of what you do, like motorhoming or camping or caravanning. Blah, blah, blah. This is your time to to tell uh, thirty people what do you do. I'll give you a few seconds. What's that symbol? Right, well, um, as I'm waiting for these um, adverts <laughs> to come in, uh, I'm going to say that uh, I'm going to be signing off now. So thank you very much for watching. Oh, look, the bush mills. Oh, I keep getting me left and me right wrong way. Uh, might have to have some of that tonight. Ooh. So, uh, so again, yeah, thank you very much for watching. I think uh, we had 22 people at one point, according to the stats here. How has the stream been? Uh, YouTube has been telling me it, it's been bad. <coughs> keeps coming up saying bad and good. Switching between. Have you had any problems? Has it been bad quality or whatever? It says it's good now, but we're not receiving video at a fast enough rate. You're kidding me, right? Got a 200 meg pipe, 15 meg upload. Should be fast enough. <clears throat> So the Beckwiths, Beckwiths uh, do weekly holidays, day holidays and days out. Posh cats do motorhoming. The clue is in the name. <laughs> it could have been a shop. Um, uh, Bob Earnshaw, we do motorhome videos, but you probably know that. Uh, Andrew Richards, me, video holiday, video video holiday places, etc. It's it's been good even on mobile signal. Are you? Oh, okay. Uh, what I've seen of it, the stream has been fine. So YouTube is lying, liars. Right. Well, thank you very much uh, for your adverts there. Uh, if you haven't already, check out these people. Just um, uh, you can see them in in the text. <laughs> you can see them in the text here, but also you can see them uh, uh, on the panel on the comments side of the screen there. Uh, of course, it's streamed. YouTube now actually see. I don't need this thing. This thing. Now they actually show the comments as well. As you're watching it, they pop up automatically. Uh, automatically, uh, they pop up while you're watching it uh, uh, when it's recorded, as it were, uh, on the red button. That didn't make sense at all. So, uh, but uh, yeah, you should be able to. I can't click people, these people, you, you, your names to go to your channel, but I am. I'm sure I can just uh, copy the name there. And go to that channel just to do a search in YouTube to find out those people. So head over to their channel. Let's have a look at what they do, shall we? Great. Well, that's going to be it for this uh, live stream. Um, I got a few videos coming out. I got one, one about the hat, and I got um, one about stickers. And is there another one? No, oh, the sober for October. I've done that one. Um, they, they, yeah, they, they, blah, 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 they're yet to come out, but uh, they probably be out this week, maybe, maybe. Anyway, ta off for now. Look out for this time next weekend, where the I think there's a Bushmills video coming out next weekend, and 
That's, this is the video I've just been working on, the one with this thing in it. <clears throat> so, adios, goodbye, thank you, and uh, if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe for more video updates, and don't forget to click that, no that bell notification icon. Bye-bye for now.